All right, E3 is next week, guys. Yes. And we thought it would be yes. fun to bring to the table the side quest host E3 predictions. Mm. So uh, in our little Twitter DM, I asked everybody, bring two that you think might happen and one pie-in-the-sky screwball idea. So, what if I picked three screwball eyeball ideas? Then you did it right. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to go like one by one around the table? Sure. How's that sound? I'll, sure. I, sure. I'll start with um, All right. go ahead. that rumor about the uh, that uh, Avengers game. Do you see the rumor about that? Mm. About how yes. it's yeah, yeah. going to be... Th- there's possibilities of it being like Destiny? That rumor has been around actually for multiple years now. Oh, it has? I didn't realize mm. this. Yeah. I used to talk about the Avengers game in the same breath as Anthem. Okay. Mm. Oh. So it's likely going to fail horribly. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And by oh, the way, I love Anthem. I had a great time playing. Sick the, bird. I, I've, I love. I loved playing Anthem, and if it ever gets a new life, I, I'll be excited about that. But it's technically, a, you know, it's hurting right now. Yeah, mm. that game looks crazy though. Avengers looks crazy because, yeah. like, you think about like a game where you build a superhero. <laughs> But there's like a loot and progression system to it. That would be yeah. Did and you it's ever a play live um, service game? Yeah. Did you ever mm. play? What was it called? Was it called? Was it called DC Heroes or something? Like the, yeah. the yeah. I never yeah. played it, but I, I'm aware. Yeah. 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 It was kind. Of, it wasn't great, but it was. It was kind of fun for a little bit. Like I, I, I made like a flash character. And you can run up walls and stuff. So it's kind of cool. So yeah, it's gonna release. Yeah. We're gonna all be like, this sucks, and then two years later, it'll be amazing. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Well, Sounds about right. what if what if they actually were to nail like this destiny like experience in the uh, in the Marvel universe though? Like, how would you That'd feel? Be awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? Could be. would cool. be amazing. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. You just got. You like, just went and powers. unlocked Spider Man, and then Spider Man, you're unlocking like a legendary web for your arm. Making your own costume. Yes. Like, build your character. Make your own costume. Design your own superpowers. Like, kind of customize your superpowers. Think of the what is the loot grind though? Is it just costumes? <laughs> yeah, right. What what would be the loot grind when you you have superpowers um, instead of weapons? I suppose you could have like because you know like all the super uh, superheroes have different like suits from their different times in the comics. Like maybe they would yeah. actually be like physical armor pieces with stats. So maybe you could have like armor sets for your heroes. Um, and I is wonder spandex as well, whether... really armor. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> in the space age. Yeah. Space age spandex, True. of course. It's got poly, poly nanite something, you know, thingies. <laughs> and then if you like play, I don't know if you get you unlock the galaxy spandex. Galaxy spandex, nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Imagine that, that would work though. I could see like you grind out like different colors and different like designs yeah. for armor and and costumes. Imagine you're mm-hmm. playing as Thor and you just unlocked a new hammer. Exotic. Do you, do you think we're gonna play as like the characters in the movies, or do you think we're gonna like custom design your own character and play as that character? I would assume that we uh, custom design our own character. I think so. Yeah. yeah, probably. That does sound awesome. I feel like it'd be weird to have like twenty Thors running around. You know. <laughs> but what if you could get like you could True. get their powers, right? So you could make your own yeah. character, but you can get like Spider Man's web, you can get Thor's hammer, and you can kind of. So maybe the characters kind of play as this skill tree. Yeah. So each of the ah. like Thor skill tree, Spider Man skill tree, and then you can make your own character, but you can kind of use those characters as skill trees. That'd be great. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be dope. I'd love it. So like you have super healing and flight. <laughs> but if you pick flight, you couldn't have webs and like. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to like make choices like that. That'd be cool. Yeah. I've definitely mm-hmm. got my eye on this. They've been working on this in a long time. Uh, is it Crystal Dynamics who's making this? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. They've been working on this for a very long time, and I'm mm. looking forward to that one. Cool. Good so, test yeah. prediction is it's coming out on <laughs> oh, next, this year. That we're September. Yeah, September. <laughs> September 13th. It's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, next one. Who's got the next one? Um, I can go. Yeah. Um, my prediction is that <clears throat> trials will be announced in at E3. Oh. To be released uh, in I don't know when. 
<laughs> but they'll, September. But they'll September be like 13th. Yeah, September 13th. Obviously. September 13th. Obviously. Bold move, August. Cotton. <laughs> They're going to drop the new, the new season on the 3rd of September, and Trials comes out on the 13th, that Friday or Thursday. Go. Boom. Oh, my. Obviously. So it's actually going to come out during the summertime? That's what you're saying? It's not, they're not going to wait till September to bring it out? They're, they're going to announce it to be released. Right. Okay. I don't know when. Okay. When do you think, though, Watts? Let's put, let's put a date um, on it. Okay, okay, okay. A date. I'm going to go with... When would the next... Uh, November 7th. 7th of November. Whoa. That seems really convenient for us. I'm going to go with that too, yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, one of my picks was Marvel's Avenger, but we already talked about that. So I'm going to skip that it. one, and yes. I'm going to go to, I believe that Respawn Entertainment's Jedi Fallen Order is going to be the game of the show. You know how everybody oh. left talking about Cyberpunk mm-hmm. last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think everybody is going to go in looking at Jedi Fallen Order, and they're going to come out. like I mean, Respawn is on a hot streak, right? Titanfall 2, Apex. They got... a. You know, the first Star Wars, like, single-player game in a very long time. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, the original developers of Call of Duty, Titanfall. Mm -hmm. Like, these guys know how to make a game. I think this thing is going to be hot. I think it's, like, people are going to come out of here. I think they're going to have a playable demo at E3, and I think that it's going to blow people away. Man. Mm. Briar, I like that. Hope so. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I like so it. I'm I'm thinking right for my for my, my one like so it's, it's based slightly on a, on a rumor right but from software supposedly working on a game inspired by Norse mythology right yes right? yes and I think oh I, I I would be willing to bet this will launch like March April next year right because wow. companies that quick. I've, well, see, so, so the thing is, you see, like the climate for like games these days seems to because when you think about when we first like saw Sekiro, which was like last year's E3, and then we got it this year, right? Mm. So when you think about like the climate, like a lot of a lot of companies are making the shift now where they announce much closer to the game being ready than saying announcing be like you can wait three years for our game to come out, unless of course you're you know Square Enix, in which case you, you make people wait twenty years for your game. But anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. Point is, I feel like they'll do because I because I, I think also like even though he was um like the main kind of director was like heavily involved in from software, I know that like his team, I think he took a slightly more advisory role anyway, so he might have been busy kind of straddling multiple projects. But I feel like this. Like I love Norse mythology, and I think like a, 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 a from software game set with that theme, oh, that would be incredible. And this is the one that George mm-hmm. R. R. Martin consulted yeah. on. Yes, but yeah. oh, actually, wait, if, that's a good point. If he's consulted, consulted maybe it'll right. come out in ten years' time. Yeah, it might be. yeah, he's got a, a good <laughs> decade to work on that. He's not controlling it. Right? <laughs> as long as it's not okay, a book, yeah. I think George is all about it, so he might be all right. When did they announce yeah, yeah. Uh, Sekiro? That was. Anybody remember? Was, was it? it it was last year's was, Microsoft conference, wasn't it? Was it? I'm pretty sure it was last year's Game year. Awards. Uh, or no, they I didn't thought... announce it there. They showed a trailer, but they didn't say what yeah. it was for. No, it was, yeah. it was definitely Microsoft conference because yep, yeah, because yep. I remember seeing that. You're yeah. absolutely right. So, it's, so yeah, yeah, you're so right. I mean, within like, a timeline, yeah, they would line up. Yeah, I guess they are doing mm-hmm. that. Where would they sneak in Bloodborne Two, Eric's? What, how would they do that with this timeline? <laughs> uh, this is important, ooh, by the way. Uh, tomorrow, please. No, I no, yeah. not tomorrow. They, I they were sneaking in September thirteenth. September thirteenth, <laughs> we get Bloodborne Two. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can see Sony trying to get them to release that with the PlayStation Five. True, true, true. Maybe, yeah. True. Like not a launch game, but like a year one game or year two game. Mm. Bloodborne is a very popular PlayStation game. Oh, okay, mm. so legit. If they would do that, um, hmm. I think. Well, first, I think it would have to be a like a spinoff. It can't be a continuation because Bloodborne is pretty complete in terms of what it gives in the package. So it'd have to be something yeah. set in the universe, but separated from that storyline that we played. Separate story. Yeah, they're pretty good at that with Dark Souls, right? Uh, it's this Dark Souls two didn't pay off too well that way because that was no in. A different area, and it's definitely not considered uh, the 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 gem of Dark Souls. Dark Souls one continued into Dark Souls three to complete the story. Um, man, I hope because Bloodborne's amazing. That game was just fantastic. But at the same time, if they released something that was just not quite as good, then that would kind of mar the the franchise for me. I'd be like, ah. mm. 
Bloodborne 2 happened. Dude. Honestly, I could go with a FromSoft game every year, please. Same. Just, I yeah. love I love everything. I love their character designs. I love their boss fights. They're always just such a spectacular thing to look at. You know, you load into a, a boss arena and you're like, oh my God, this thing looks mm, so cool. Mm. I felt like that with Lady Butterfly immensely because I was like, oh my God. Her fighting yeah. style was so beautiful. Mm. Uh, I, they I they just have it. like this ability but whoever is doing the actual world design and level design mm -hmm. for FromSoft games, from FromSoft proper, I'm assuming, uh, has this ability to make you want to explore everything. Yeah. And that, the yeah. worlds are gorgeous. Yeah, that's like a hidden trait in game developers mm -hmm. that nobody really like, nobody specifically goes, man, that level, I just wanted to see every single bit of it. But like you don't really talk mm -hmm. about that, but you just know it when you experience it. And when you play uh, Bloodborne and when you play uh, Dark Souls and um, obviously Sekiro, you get that experience. You go down a street yeah. and there's like immediately like three interesting things that you want to go and check out. And then you go explore mm -hmm. those and then you go down the next part of the street. And it's just like there's more avenues that keep on unlocking and make you interested to see more of it. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. such a, it's got such a cool feeling about all of their worlds. You walk around and it feels very mysterious and you want to know more about the world and the characters that inhabit it. And, you know, not everyone has that talent or that gift to create a world that feels like that. Yeah. And yeah. they really mm -hmm. nail it. Yeah. You know who does that well too are the Capcom guys, especially lately with Resident Evil 7. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Like they 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 nail it there too. Yeah, that was really good. Next prediction. All right. Round two? Round two. Okay. So I have to start it off? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you stole my round one once. So I, I <laughs> that means I'm winning. <laughs> make <something> up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I predict they're going to unveil Duke Nukem MMO. Friar's <laughs> <laughs> oh not even laughing. <laughs> Briar's just like, no. Come on, man. Oh, my. You shutting down my Duke Nukem MMO? <laughs> Look, hey, yes. <laughs> Why? It'll release on Google Stadia exclusively. Stadia. Stadia. That, that will be my reason to buy that. There Duke Nukem go. MMO. There's only one. Everybody plays Duke Nukem. Yes. <laughs> There's no character creation. You can only be Duke Nukem. <laughs> For this MMO? You could have different shades yeah. of fabric. Different types of fabric okay. that you wear in your shirt. You know? yeah. Different belts. Just the shirt, though, because you have to be wearing jeans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So you have purple, so red, always got the green, flat top, blue, blonde shirt. hair type of thing going on. Yeah, you yeah. got to have that and the sunglasses. Oh, yeah, you can change different types of sunglasses, but they always have to look some, you know, they got to look like the, the classic thing going on. Different they gotta look like they're from the 80s. You can get the ones that have, like, the, the plastic slats in them. Instead uh, of just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm in. All right. What else do you do in a Duke Nukem MMO? <laughs> you have to like kill. You have to go explore where the aliens came from. And uh, and you have to you got to go to strip clubs also. That's very important. Oh, yeah. There's yep. definitely romance options in the strip clubs. <laughs> in the MMO, you got romance options. You have to level up your romance yeah. meters. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Spec into your romance. Operating tree. bathrooms. The original had operating toilets. So yeah. There's a there's a there's a real time eating and defecating system. <laughs> oh my gosh. This sounds like a hit, guys. Yeah, I think we could flush it out a little more, but <laughs> flush it out. Wow. Oh, wow. My. All right, well, next, who's got the next prediction? All right. <laughs> Does it mean it's me? Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, so let's see. Cyberpunk, we know, is going to be at E3 this year. Yep. They come out on stage, and they announce the game's playable right now. Yep. Yep, that's it. They launch at <laughs> E3? Yeah. You know, oh. everyone's, been, everyone's been super excited Oh, like you can it. go home and download it right now? Is that what you're saying? Like they pull out? Yeah, yeah. They, then, they've got to make one mistake. And right? then they actually this their, utter. This is their giant mistake. They actually utter, suck it, Jason Trier. Because he said that. <laughs> <laughs> he said there's no way they're releasing this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Did exactly, he say that? I didn't exactly know that. the announcement. Yeah. They get on, they're like, here, guys, here's some gameplay of Cyberpunk. Now, you may notice that uh, they are playing the game. This is the full game. 
They're playing live right now. The game's out. Screw you, Jason. And then they just. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is. And Kerbal, it's all being run on the new iMac. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> and Cross Save brought to you by Stadia. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, there that's go. a good prediction. All right. I think it's going to happen. At least it's not September 13th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. True. Everybody's yeah. got their eyes on this game, right? Like, everybody's yeah. looking at this game thinking, yeah. I mean, after The Witcher 3, the best game of all time, how could you not? Whoa, 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 game? whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> It's clearly yeah. the wild. Best game of all time? Uh, that's that's the second best game of all time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, man. I think Code Vein is the best game of all time. Yeah, personally. Mm. How's the fucking in Breath of the Wild? Because <laughs> it's pretty good in Wind Waker 3. <laughs> That's, really good. That's why Tefty couldn't keep playing it. It was just too, get, it was get, too much. It, 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 you get screwed it by was the too puzzles. much. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> get screwed by the puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, next prediction. What's your prediction, Ryan? Uh, I believe that Microsoft is going to have a VR headset this year. That they're uh-huh. they're going to announce the new console this year, and along with that new console announcement, they're going to announce a VR headset. Wow, hmm. interesting. Hmm. I think uh, PlayStation, the PlayStation VR headset, has shown that it is a viable home, you know, home concept, you know, concept for the home. Right? Is that that thing mm-hmm. is sold actually really well? Did it really? Um. Yeah, it did. Wow. Um, I, I think it's the the most popular uh, VR experience, like the best-selling VR experience. Um, and there's the most games available. Most You can't really say most games because Steam is a – Steam Workshop is a thing, right? right. People yeah. just, like, you know, put out, like, random shit. But, like, yeah. if you make a game for the PlayStation VR, it's, like, the best-selling platform. Like, you sell the most on – that platform if you put them out huh. on all three hmm. like uh oculus uh steam like those three platforms playstation vr is by far the most popular mm. uh, and in a lot of ways it's the best headset that's available right now it the way it sits on your head yeah like, i do like it's it. like a halo and it doesn't actually like strap to your face it just kind of sits in front of your face it like hovers in front of your face so it's very comfortable um it's very inexpensive for a vr um, but I think that Microsoft's seeing that, and they, you know, they're going to want to compete with that. Hmm, it could be cool. All right, yeah, I'm still not really sold on VR for me personally. Like, it's still, it's, I don't like the fact that I have to put on a headset and change how I'm operating my whole gaming experience right now. So, it, yeah. VR, I feel like it still needs to mature for me. I mean, maybe they'll do that with this if they actually were to announce something. The Valve Index is coming out. I think it's at the end of this month or early next month. Um, and that is really like the first 2.0 headset that we're going to see. Yeah. Where, you know, it's got new controllers that track fingers so you can like pick stuff up naturally and throw it naturally. Um, oh, that's cool. Wider field of view on the helmet. 144 hertz screen that's on, big. in the helmet. Um, it's got near field speakers instead of headphones so that you can actually have some awareness of what's going on around you. So like people aren't sneaking up on you all the time. Yeah, Valve yeah. index looks real good. I'm, I'm going to be pre-ordering that and getting that day one. It's people sneaking up on you. Nice. Do you have to worry about that? Yeah. That's the thing with VR because you can't see anything in the, like you got the VR helmet on and you got headphones on. So like, let's say your wife or something comes in and taps you on the shoulder while you're playing resident evil seven literally scares the shit out of you <laughs> like <laughs> really hmm. <laughs> scary <laughs> hmm. because you're so you're immersed in like a totally different yeah, world you're into it and to feel physical concept contact is like really disturbing huh hmm. but yeah the valve index looks really good i'd love to see microsoft um have a vr solution for the next xbox yeah well i mean they're definitely looking at competition and what they can what they can uh, what they can check off the list, so people don't look at yeah. Xbox as like not having these things. So it's it's possible for sure. Okay. Yeah. Also, cool. September thirteenth yeah. is when they're going to launch it. Yeah, yeah, of course, true. of course. <laughs> yeah. um, my other like normal prediction would be uh, EA finally announcing Command and Conquer coming back. Like not not the not the the crappy mobile game they announced before yeah. on TV. So we're like, Legit. yeah, no, they'll be like, yeah, like a legit like Command and Conquer. Like, 
bring about the the RTS genre that needs to be like the, the genre that doesn't get enough attention these days. They'll bring it back. They'll be like, this is a fully fledged Command and Conquer. Please ignore some of the crazy stuff we've done recently. This will be a very good game. Pardon the we'll dust. enjoy it. <laughs> Have a, yeah, part of the dust. This is a genuinely great game. It's just Command and Conquer. No frills, no nothing. It's just is what it going to be want. Red Alert, Criminal and Conquer, or Old School? Yeah, please. Yeah. Come, oh, I, yeah, I, I want I, Red I, Alert. I, yeah, yeah. Give me Red Alert. Um, yeah. In fact, please give me, please give me right Red Alert with like the old cast with the old cheesy cutscenes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't care how old they are. Bring them back right now, and then yeah. like. That's it. That's it. I, I just, just, just a box product. You can sell it. Get the same set. Get the same yes. cameras. Like all the same technology that you use to create those old cutscenes. Just use it, reuse it, because you nailed it the first time. <laughs> exactly. And if they need someone else to play Kane, I will happily step up to the job. <laughs> I think you'd be perfect. That'd be awesome. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. All right. You heard it here. And they'll, and they'll say, they'll say, you know what? You can buy it at EA Play on a physical box. Right there. There you go. Boom, ready. Uh, right there. They're doing right there. doing the launches they release, or launches they talk. Yep. They have a little, like, lemonade stand, and next to the lemonade stand, they'll have all the games. They'll be like, please please buy your lemonade, and then they'll copy the game. Bam, done. I like that, man. Do you feel like games are going to move closer and closer towards, like, really short announcements to almost just launching? Like, Netflix is like, hey, we got a new movie. Watch it now. Like, do you think we're going to get closer think- and closer to that with games? I think we'll get, I think we'll get closer to it. I, I think there'll always be like a certain run up because I feel like the marketing like lead up for the game is is like this kind of slightly larger. But I think I think they definitely are like a lot of a lot of companies are moving like Nintendo do it a lot as well. You know, like they typically, apart from the things like Metro Prime, generally speaking, they tend to announce things now that you're playing that year. So right. I think I think yeah. the cycle is we might we might get as short as like a. Here we go. Oh. All right. The <laughs> cycle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome it's great <laughs> it's still <Indeed>. frozen <laughs> it, it never gets old i will laugh about this yeah every single we're gonna have to have like a thing <laughs> like eric's it's gonna be eric's bingo Wait. and people have to put a number in chat of when in the video they think eric's is gonna freeze and how many times is gonna <laughs> yeah how many times i'm sorry and at what point in the timestamp do you think eric's gonna freeze play eric's bingo man I would. I think we should do that. The woes of Discord servers being like US and me being all the other side of the, the yeah. ocean. I apologize. Yeah. I'm back. Oh no, it's fine. Yeah. It's great. Uh, so now, so now we got wild predictions, right? What, what are our wild predictions? Um, Mine have all been wild. I'm sorry. Yeah, I. Hmm, since mine was kind of a wild prediction on the previous one, there there's been a discussion about Borderlands Two getting a a DLC that's going to drop. Ah. And uh, there's rumors about it dropping at E3 when they announce this stuff as like a bridge towards Borderlands 3 because they're gonna they're for sure gonna talk about Endgame for Borderlands 3 and they're probably gonna show off mm-hmm. another planet and another character like Moe's or Flack. So I'm um, obviously they're, 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 those are confirmed that they're gonna show off a character and planet and talk about Endgame. That's exciting, but there's all these rumors about are they gonna take a game that came out in 2012 and give it a DLC that's gonna bridge. From Borderlands 3 to Borderlands 3. And if they are, that's going to be exciting. I can't wait. Uh, so my, I guess my prediction would be that, yeah, they would drop it right at E3. And be like, boom, get hyped. Because PlayStation this month is giving a handsome collection for free. If you, um, They are, yeah. Yeah, yeah which, they you know, are. if you guys haven't tried out uh, the Borderlands universe and you um, have a PlayStation account that's up to date... Play Borderlands 2 first. Don't play the pre sequel first. Free. Yeah, it's free. Might as well download it. Play Borderlands 2. Yeah. And if you like Borderlands 2, then you can keep on uh keep on playing. Didn't that get a 4K update too? It did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. When the for the PlayStation uh Pro? Yep. Yeah, that's a nice package. That was a sixty dollar package not that long ago. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Saying it's a lot of great great content. If you haven't played Borderlands, it It'll give you a taste of it. Borderlands Three is going to feel very different in terms of gunplay. It's going to, it's going to be a really, yeah. really nice game that people will get to mm-hmm. dive into on September thirteenth. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I wouldn't right. try and play the entire Borderlands series over the summer though. Yeah, yeah. only, only like, if you've suddenly you become might get a mega burnout fan. Burnout on Borderlands before the new one comes out. Yeah, you wouldn't want that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, like you might discover that suddenly this is the perfect game for you and you love it. So then yeah, play it. But like 
If you're interested, try out Borderlands 2. Just do one playthrough, and you can judge from there. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. All right. My prediction. Don't know if realistic or crazy. Can't tell. Both are the same in my head. So, um, My prediction is that we are going to see Resident Evil 8 announced at E3 Ooh. with a spring 2020 release date. Huh. This... Because Resident Evil 7 came out in spring, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, actually January. This 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 lines oh, up. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, this this definitely lines up because they they've been talking about how they're doing a remake and then a full release and then a remake and then a full release because they just did yeah. RE2 remake. So next year RE8 and then the year after that RE3. Yeah. And that engine. So I think, I think that, it might be possible. That RE engine is amazing. I, it's really yeah, it's good. good. Every time a game um, comes out on that, I freaking love that engine. It's so nice. So the the executive producer noted back in 2017 that plans for the next title are already in motion. And when you see that game, you may find that it's very different from Resident Evil 7 in some ways while still retaining that core survival horror concept. So huh. we should be getting a somewhat person? different experience too. Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah. More like a traditional Resident Evil. Yeah, I like the third person. I'd be bummed if it's. I'd be bummed if it's third person. I really liked how it was first person for Resident Evil Seven, and I especially really loved how it was VR. It was a VR experience. That game That's was too spooky terrifying. for me. <laughs> it was so Three good as five, a man. VR experience. Yeah, especially like the first six hours or so when you're really like kind of in that mansion. It was so good that I'd hate. I'd hate to lose that in the next one. I really hope they they keep it. RE2 was amazing, though, and that was third person. I feel like the third person a- aspect of that really heightened my feel for the game. I liked Resident Evil 7. I, I definitely enjoyed it, but I feel like RE2 was that remake just nailed things, and I feel like the third person aspect of it is part of that that ingredient. I much mm. preferred Resident Evil 7 over RE2. Oh, really? The mm. remake. Okay. Yeah. It was just so, so much more impactful. Uh, really interesting though if we get a resident evil 8 because of, of of course with the with the remakes we know what we're getting i know they changed um a yeah. lot of stuff in resident evil 2 remake from the original but you generally know what's going on you know who you're going to play as but getting a brand new resident evil is always super exciting because it's a whole different story different location different characters you're playing as and against it's yeah I, okay. i'd be excited to see it wild wild mm-hmm. prediction okay okay but crazy absolute <laughs> insane prediction that was obviously not going to happen it is going to be resident evil rts and you play as the virus and you have to go recruit squads of, <laughs> of zombies oh my <laughs> like that isn't that like that game what's it called the the virus game that you play <clears throat> Uh, Where sure. you have to create a virus and then spread it around the world. Similar, but it's going to have RTS experiences in it. So I you're going to have like zombie squads that you have to go and form. And uh, you're going against, man. you know, you're going against the people who are alive. Obviously. Yeah. On Stadia. On Stadia. Yeah, on Stadia. Cross play. <laughs> Cross play online Stadia. There you go. Cross play just between Stadia and the new iMac. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right, so everybody's wondering. We know that the Microsoft's next console is going to get announced, mm-hmm. right? But what's it going to be called, right? Because they've been all mm. over the map with this thing. Mm. So the first one was just Xbox. The right. second one was the 360. Yep. The third one was the Xbox One. So the, what's the fourth one going to be? I was thinking the obvious answer, you know, Marijuana is being legalized all across the United States. Microsoft wants to jump on board on the bandwagon. So Xbox 420, clearly. Mm. But it has a ring to it. Then I was thinking, you know, (laughs) it does, right? (laughs) But then I was thinking, you know, they're not competing against the PlayStation 4. They're competing against the PlayStation 5. So they're not going to want to go with the 4. Right. Right. That's the whole Mm, point between buying 360 is they were going against the PlayStation 3. They didn't want to go Xbox 2. Right, so I think I legitimately think they're just going to call it the Xbox. How about? Mm. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> if they just call it the Xbox, right, is they can just keep the Xbox name going, right? Now that they're on a PC architecture, like they don't really have to be saying this is Xbox Five, this is Xbox Six, this is Xbox Seven. 
they could say this is the 2019 Xbox, this is the 2020 Xbox. You know what I'm saying? What if they just straight up yeah, chopped the name off and went Xbox? That's what I just said. <laughs> Literally, those words Guys, just came out of my mouth. If... <laughs> <laughs> oh my All right, while you were talking, I was actually thinking about names. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. My bad. Brian, my bad. What if they? What if they just call it? The box, no longer Whoa. Xbox. Just, just no, no more just Xbox. The, just the See, box. I was trying to make a, box. I was trying to think of a funny name like Box Xbox or Box Box X X One Box Box. You know, and that's yeah. why I wasn't listening oh, to you, Brian. Yeah, it's just called X. That's it. X. Just the X. Mm. Just the X. Or just X. Yeah. <laughs> and they bring out, they bring out. Who's saying X is going to give it to you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. DMX. Yeah. DMX. <laughs> DMX. DM- yeah, they bring out DMX to yeah, yeah X to announce give it. it to you. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's I like what it, it might be. Yeah, just the X, just X. Yep. Fair. The, it, it's called the X though. The T-H-E is part of the brand. Okay. The mm. X. Okay. Yeah. Now it just sounds like an ex-wife though. Mm, maybe <laughs> the this is X. Some, right? <laughs> I gotta go pick up the X, honey. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, sorry to hear about that. <laughs> I didn't know you guys um, broke up. Uh, <laughs> All right, our X. Fair. What do you got? Uh, right. So the X. last, the last one, the last one, right? Anyone here a fan of fighting games? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. So you know, Dragon Ball Fighters came out, right? right. Fantastic yeah. game. Yes. Love that. Right. So like, my Dragon Ball when I was growing up was actually Naruto. Like, I wasn't really, I didn't have the attachment to Dragon Ball. So Naruto Fighters, the exact same yeah. format as Dragon Ball Fighters, okay. but picture right because Dragon Ball Fighters. Like the parity between that and the manga scenes was incredible, right? The fighting game itself played really well, but imagine that with Naruto characters and the tail beast fights you could have and the tail beast supers. But with that visual, the visual quality, that, that, if they announce that, oh, oh. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. That sounds cool. That would be incredible. So yeah. What what, what if instead it's anime girl fighters? I want to play that. Then it's going to be too (laughs) creepy for an adult male to play. No. (laughs) No. Australia's going to ban it. All right. Yeah, <laughs> when when you're playing that in the living room and your wife walks in, she'll be like, "What's this porn?" <laughs> <laughs> you're like, "Wait till you see the super." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are there underage girls on the TV screen right now? Oh, no. <laughs> it's scantily clad. <laughs> oh dear. That's but yeah, hilarious. that's that's my that's my that's my crazy I like my it. crazy one. Nice. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Well, is uh, is that the show? Do we talk all the topics? I think so. I think so. Did we talk? We didn't talk about Call of Duty, did we? Nah, but I think we should probably save, right? Yeah. Because like, maybe we can talk about that when we get their multiplayer reveal. Yeah, stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's really what I'm looking forward about to seeing at this point. Thing. Yeah, once mm-hmm. they actually show a little bit more, and obviously next week is E or is it next week? E three. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Next week is yeah. a big week. Uh, Eric, you're not going to be on the show next week, right? I will not, unfortunately, but I'll be back the week after to bring like lots of like E3, E3 news, yes, E3 reports news and stuff. Yep. So yeah, yeah actually, when does the E3 affi- what's the day that it officially starts? Is it this weekend? Uh, two, well, so so the kind of EA Play begins Saturday. Xbox conference is Sunday. Other things like Ubisoft and Square Enix is Monday, and then the E3 physical show is Tuesday through Thursday. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. next week is going to be uh, interesting. Actually. For the rest of the month is going to be really interesting. A lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to yeah. talk about. 